How do you ensure that your retail facility is failure-proof? Are you looking for a better way to manage your mall? This brand new episode of FM Insight has a solution for you. We have with us Mr. Graham Eastern, the Operations Director of NG Coffley, talking to us about the workings of reliability-centered maintenance. RCM is a risk-based maintenance approach which aligns your maintenance strategy with your business risk plan. In the application of RCM, what we're actually looking at is to identify the assets which are critical to the AMOL's operation, what enhances and optimizes the, the environment for the customer experience. So, ensure, so what we need to do is ensure the reliability of the equipment which is feeding the mall. To do that, using RCM, we identify what the potential failure modes are of each piece of equipment and then we tailor the maintenance strategy around how we can either prevent failure in the first instance or using predictive maintenance techniques be that looking at the energy signature of the asset, looking at vibration, power analyzer. We then identify potentially when the asset is going to start to fail and then we can then take corrective action to, in, to prevent it failing in the first instance. Currently to carry out the analysis, we physically send technicians to the field to carry out measurements. They're measuring air flows, temperatures, vibration, using thermography and electrical panels. But it still requires someone to physically go to site, to the plant room to do it. At the moment, BMS systems basically monitor the live state of the panel. But the way the industry is going and as technology develops, we can actually start to fit sensors to the equipment. So rather than have to send someone there, we can actually look at the measurements we require and have them monitored by the BMS system. So, and then we can start using what is termed as the big data, the collection of big data and internet of things and build algorithms which then start to look at the, um, the, da the data which we've collected and the trends within that data and then it will automatically then flag up and say, this asset is starting to fail, you need to take action. Tell us a bit about what kind of savings that clients see by using RCM in a retail environment. What we found when we Im implemented RCM and we looked at the revision of our job plans, we found that overall the amount of sh scheduled maintenance hours was reduced which gave us a manpower cost saving. We also find that the, because of the reduction of failures, we then are, re are replacing fewer spare parts. So we've got a reduction in our spare parts costs. We can also use RCM data to look at predicting the life cycle of the asset and through the accurate prediction of the asset life cycle we can then look at more accurate forecasting of OPEX and CAPEX budgets and by extending the asset's life then you're reducing your overall OPEX costs over a longer period of time. The other saving is more to the customer side where you're taking away the cost of failure. So by improving the reliability of the equipment, you're taking away when it, the number of times that equipment fails and how that affects the customer. There is always a cost associated to the customer when an asset fails. Then, and finally, through optimizing the equipment's performance, we found that we also get an improvement in, in energy consumption of that equipment by ensuring it is at its optimum operation at all times. There you have it. Definitely a more reliable way of managing your facility, don't you think so? If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more such engaging videos. Until then, this is Mega Anthony signing off.